The Fillmore Central Falcons moved on to round number two of the postseason with a 41-14 win on Tuesday night against Tayfield. Chris Mensick, head coach of the Falcons, joining us. And, Coach, whenever you're a, a heavy favorite in a game, getting off to a good start is a, a very good thing. Uh, six uh, touchdowns in your first seven possessions. Uh, not too bad of a start, to, according to this unwise guy. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, no, that's exactly what I wanted to open with is, yeah, I think our kids, our varsity kids stepped in there. We took the ball, won the flip uh, and scored right away. That was the plan, right? To get a fast start, uh, score early and often and get those kids out and remain healthy and get our get our other kids some very good uh, playoff reps. So uh, the plan worked out and, and we were able to advance to round number two. And defensively, uh, didn't allow uh, any points uh, till the uh, late third and uh, early fourth uh, quarters. Uh, How'd your defense uh, click uh, on uh, Tuesday night? Yeah, I thought our, our defense played well, right? They they tuned into their keys. I know Hayfield was dealing with some injuries and things like that. I think they started six sophomores. So, uh, but our kids played well, and I thought they read their keys. And and for most of the night, we kept them kept them in check. So, uh, very proud of our effort on that side of the ball. Well, and uh, when it comes to efficiency, uh, 39 uh, snaps and uh, you reach the end zone uh, six times. Uh, that's a pretty good percentage. Uh, obviously, uh, stepping up uh, at the right time uh, for your uh, team on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, and they were not real long drives. I think our longest drive was six, seven plays. So the execution was there. Um, I thought, you know, our speed definitely showed. I was happy that the the weather cooperated at, at our place. You know, there I know there were some games that were postponed to, to Wednesday night, which shortens up that turnaround even more. And I think they play their semifinals now on Monday. So we were happy. We saw a little lightning and that kind of stayed to the north of us. And, and we didn't end up getting a drop all night. So that definitely helps the execution as well when you have a dry track and, and a dry football. And I know uh, talking uh, prior to the sectional first round, uh, we talked about your management uh, heading into that game. How do you manage this Tuesday to Saturday turnaround? Right. Well, the weather this week, right? We went outside right away. Uh, Wednesday was a whirlwind of trying to get a bunch of film watched and and get ourselves outside, which is is out of the ordinary for us. Usually a day after a game, we do a lift and we do film and we, we spend most of our time inside. But uh, looking at the forecast and weather, uh, for Thursday this week looked like rain during practice time. So we were outside yesterday and hopefully be in the film film room today uh, and then outside for our walkthrough on Friday for that uh, two o'clock start on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, I think our kids feel good. Their bodies are in good shape. They feel good that way as well. So uh, we're right on track where we want to be. And looking at the opponent uh, coming up on Saturday, uh, good Hugh, uh, looking at them on paper, a seven and two team, uh, seemingly a pretty solid team for a number four seed. Is that fair to say? Yeah, very fair to say. You know, that's uh, we said the top six teams were very uh, any one of them could be in this game and in the finals. So uh, Goodhue is definitely one of those teams. They're a team that came down from two way from last year. Uh, we've we've played them a lot in the past, but haven't seen them here in the in the recent past. Um, but and and also they were the one team on our schedule that the crossover that we didn't get to see during the regular season. So I know uh, Coach Ponslet and his staff they've been anticipating this matchup as well, and they're very well coached, and we have a lot of respect for them. And looking forward to a, to a great football game. And no matter what happens on Saturday, it'll be the final uh, home game of the season uh, for you guys. Uh, how how much of a thing is it to uh, protect that home field uh, in the playoffs uh, come Saturday? Oh, for sure. We we love to play at our place. You know, we went under, under that renovation a few years ago, and it's it's just a wonderful place to play. We get a lot of compliments from teams that come come down to play there. It's just it's a great venue to watch a high school football game. You're close to the action. You're up in the air. Uh, now, sight lines are awesome for both the, the home team and the visitors team. Uh, we anticipate that Goodhue is going to bring a great crowd, as will we. Uh, and the weather looks dry and cool. Great football weather uh, for a two o'clock kickoff on Saturday. All right, uh, Coach, hopefully you can keep things rolling in the right direction. Keep your guys healthy. We wish you best of luck. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Darren. Chris Mensick, head coach of the Fillmore Central Falcons. Falcons and Goodhue, 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon.